the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 20 for Monday, November 30th, 2020, where we do a hazy IPA blind taste test. Welcome to the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, November 30th, 2020. This is episode 20. This is Tech Guy Steve with today's intro for host Chris and Charlie. Today's show is another blind taste test from Blind Lady Ale House in San Diego, but this time with four excellent hazy IPAs from four different breweries. The first brewery is from Rush River Brewing, based out of Sonoma County in California. The second brewery is from North Park Beer Company, based here in San Diego, as is the third, which is from Modern Times. The fourth is Beer is from Bottle Logic, based out of Anaheim, California. In addition, we ended the show with an amazing after party beer from Horace Aged Ales, based out of Oceanside, California. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. So without any more delay, please enjoy today's show. This is the Podcraft Beer Show with your host, Chris, your host, Charlie. Hello. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Providing a little bit of legitimacy over here. Hey, so today uh, we're going to uh, step in, take a look at this uh, this blind, hazy IPA test that Blind Lady uh, Ale House uh, put together for San Diego Beer Week. Let me go get the blindfolds. So previously, we did a uh, the West Coast IPA. Uh, rendition of this. And I this. sucked at it. That's yeah. Well, you got a chance to redeem yourself. You you claim to not be a West Coast IPA guy. No, I'm not a fan. Claim to be more of a hazy guy. <laughs> I am a hazy guy. We're gonna see if you uh, can can redeem yourself today. I don't know. I probably won't. But well, I'm willing to drink. Get your bets in, folks. <laughs> so, um, the odds are high. <laughs> so so with this, uh, we have we have four different cans. They're uh, same same as they were last time. They're just a silver can with one, two, three, four on them. Uh, the, the four beers, we have a Russian River Mind Circus, North Park Disciples of Foo, Modern Times We Love You San Diego, and Bottle Logic P- Post Cyberpolic. Oh. Cyber how, how do you say that? I don't know. Work on it. <laughs> yeah. Post Cyberpocalyptic Neo New York, I we think. Should have, uh, wow, we should so have. Wow, that's a mouthful. Steve O. Yeah. We should have. Uh, Pre ran through the names. Gosh, we should have. I oh, I looked at it. I was like, that looks easy. Till you get to the bottom. Post I just thought cyber, it was beer because these cyber are, poly- Remember the old cans of beer with just beer on them? Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> so pi- post cyber apocalyptic neo New York. Good lord! My mom's touching base with my old speech uh, therapist, <laughs> calling her back in thirty years later, bringing out the help. So our goal here, we're going to uh, taste these, try to identify uh, what's what. So as Charlie pours these, uh, do you guys, uh, Steve, do you have any good beers this week? Sorry, Steve. I left you a little shot on that one. Just a sec. How about you, Charlie? Any, uh, what was your favorite beer you had this I week? I just drank this, uh, this, uh, creative creature, um, the, uh, Hecto, Hecto. It's green. It's like high C. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Hecto Cooler with, uh, it's an Imperial Sour with, uh, orange tangerine and green Spiril, spirillia algae? I don't even know how to say that. Just like your word, it, it's terrible. Very well. The beer was excellent, though. It's good, huh? Tasty, tangy, sweet. All together, it was nice. But I am I got two more beers to load up, so don't bother me. Just keep talking. I, I won't. How about you, Steve? What did you have? Uh, it was a collab between Carl Strauss and Society. Oh, Catch, your, catch You on the Flip Side IPA. How was it? It was good. Was it? It was very, very smooth. Yeah. Not super hot. The West Coast or like a hazy? Uh, more West Coast. Right on. Yeah. Clear. Okay, these are in order. Okay. I um, Did I pick that up over that parkway? Oh, okay. Yeah, you were telling me about yeah, that. it was nice. It was all right, nice huh? Place, right? Nice yeah. selection? Yeah. I thought so. Right next to that giant pizza king over yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the liquor store. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I've been in there. It's legit. Yeah. Especially it's, if you're looking for bourbon. Because they have <laughs> a lot of bourbon in there. Nice selection. bourbon, huh? huh? So I, uh, uh, I think the best beer I had this week, um, the other day I had a, uh, cold steep series from, from Moxa. I had their, uh, Jamaican blue mountain. 
Mm. Cold steeped, it was phenomenal. It was super, super tasty. Uh, we had a, a work happy hour, Zoom happy hour last Friday, so people around the country popped that guy. If that's what's happening, fortunate. I'm going back to work. Yeah, there, there you Steve. go. Yeah, well, you go to you go to work. Come to work with us once a month. You'll have a uh, you show get a, up and you get a free beer. beer. I like well, it. Well, you know, not so much free. You get free out of your refrigerator. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I could work that. So here we are. Uh, Charlie uh, wait, lined up for. Wait, uh, wait, don't jump at the gun here. Now, before we get started, I got shout outs here because uh, I shipped this actual taste test, this blind taste test, to my niece uh, Beth in West Virginia and her crew, and then um, my. Other niece in Virginia and her husband, Tyler and Katie, are um, in Virginia. So they're going to be drinking these as we drink them when this thing airs. So kind of cool, but shout out to them. Oh, there you go. And then uh, I got a couple of trucker buddies that uh, are uh, listening. So Cody and Irvin, shout out to you guys. Stay awake. Hey, stay stay awake. There (laughs) There you go. Hey, uh, what's our numbers here? Okay, one, two, three, four in order. It starts one here. Same as it was last time. So one here, like uh, one on the right and four on the left, like the opposite that I would read or count? Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm pouring them as the close. You want me to switch them around for you? No, I'm good. I'll I'll make it work. I'll work backwards. Look at this guy, Steve. He's running me through the rails. Not that it's really going to matter in the end when I I get them all wrong. (laughs) Just provide me one additional excuse. As long as we can avoid the hammer time, we're in good shape. There it is. All right, so here we go uh, with with number one. Numero uno. Numero uno. Oh, that smells good. So the the the, the beers that we're sitting here, we have uh, so mine mine circus from uh, Russian River Disciples of Foo. Uh, we love you, San Diego, uh, and post cyberpocalyptic neo New York. Gosh, that's who's right. that from? Uh, that's from Bottle Logic. Okay. Uh, so that says it's an Odie hopped galaxy uh, with galaxy in in Lotus. Uh, Herbaceous with uh, soft lemon bitterness, uh, finished with a soft lemon bitterness. I have no... This tropical... Uh, I have no no idea what I'm going to be able to do with this, because this thing right here smells fantastic. I don't know what it could be. So they all are, are pretty hazy. This one looks like it's on the lighter... Uh, the the um, If you look at all four of them uh, compared, looks like uh, like number one is probably a little bit lighter than um, uh, than the other three. I'm going to say hazier than all the others. You think so? And more golden or orangey looking, but it's definitely hazier than the others, in my opinion. So I'm going to go, I know what I'm going to go with already, without even tasting it. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try. Uh, so, yeah, they, you know, the, the, whoo. That is, that's got a different, wow, I'm getting a lot of melon and, Wow, that is that's a different tongue taste there. Let me tell you, was that still number one there, having? Yeah, this is one. I'm going to look down this here. We get some. I don't know. All right, I I, uh, I think I know which route I'm going on that on that number one. Mm. All right, all right, I'm going to. I'm jumping on two right now. We'll see. Palate cleanser. I got a, uh, this, uh, so I, you know, I, all right, I got number two just off the smell. I'll, I'll, uh, I know where I'm going with number wow. two. He's quick. Just the smell? I think, uh, man, I think, uh, well, we'll see how I no, land. No, I can't do it with the smell. That's for dang sure. I don't know. I, this is so confusing. I don't know how you could pick these. I mean, I don't know how you guys did. Fifty percent. I mean, it could have been just dumb just luck. Just dumb luck. We'll see on this one. I'm going. Uh, all right. Um, I think I got my first two set. And this, this, uh, um, I'm just going down the list with uh, Russian River. Uh, we'll see. That modern times. We love you, San Diego. I just had that the other day. So that's like, um, that's like a gimme. This is like a three beer taste test for me. I'll bet. That's that's probably the one you're going to miss. It, it for sure. It's the <laughs> one I'm, gonna miss. I'm probably going to miss all four of them. Okay, um, but any, if you haven't tasted any of these though, you're done because I have it, not had any of these. Yeah, but I haven't either. I might have had we. No, I don't think I've had. We love you, San Diego. I can guarantee you, I haven't had any of these. I didn't even know Russian River made a hazy. So this must be a new beer for them. Mind Circus. 
You know what I think? I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what the taste is that I was thinking? I just saw it on one of these. Yeah. I know where I'm going now. There you go. So uh, I'm going to try old number four here. So um, one of, you know, like, uh, yeah, rather, rather difficult, but just by the. They're all good. They're all different so far. Three of them, three out of four. Are you getting that? They're all different. All right. I, um, I think I got my, uh, my choices. I think I know where I'm going. You got them all. Um, I don't know if I got them. I don't know how I, how I scored, you, but I, you I tasted know how. each one. Of them? I did. I took a I'm little drink. Each one. He, What's stayed, that? he stayed out. Of, he jumped out of line and went for it. No, I went one, two, He's three, rogue. Four. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, all right. Let's, let's kind of walk through these. Dang it, Chris. You, you're killing us. <laughs> so, all right. I think, so number three has by far the most weirdest, like the differences of taste. Like the other ones were really smooth and this it seems. Man. Yeah. I think um, it's got a lot going on. You're going one, two, three. Wow. I agree. There's a, it, it, it definitely smells like a. It's, um, the one smells you, fantastic. You smell a lot of citrus and pine on that, uh, that, that third one over, I think. Yeah. I see a word citrusy. pine in there too. Gosh, it's going to be hard. It is. Cause I, uh, you know, earlier I, did I, you have the modern times on tap or did you have it? I, I had it in a can. I can from, so this would have came, so I think these over here though, um, I don't know where, like if they canned them there, right? You know, they probably canned them off of a, like mine was from the, the, the release or whatever. Yeah, exactly. These guys canned them off a keg. Like a crowler. Right. So these are like draft. These are draft. Right. Wow. Draft that they it put in been, a can. Right? So if you get a crowler, that's what they do to yeah, a yeah. crowler. Uh-huh. They fill it up with gas first, but these only have to be, you know, these aren't. You know, I didn't pick these up today, so it was mm-hmm. it was about a week ago. So they said I wouldn't I wouldn't do it for more than a week. No, they said. So a week a week or two he actually said to me, but Yeah. So there we go. I mean the uh you know, I think of those. I I I I I'm fairly certain I got uh I got two of them. I either got two or four right. <clears throat> well, I'm I'm so confused. I'm going to run through them a couple more times to make yeah. sure that I have them right because I don't want to get as many wrong as I did last time, which was all of them. So if we look at this this mine circus, uh, circus, <laughs> circus they, they call it out as uh, uh, herbaceous, uh, grassy with moderate tropical uh, notes as well as some bright citrus, Nelson, and strata hops. Oats and yeast for the haze. Uh, the the Disciples of Fu, uh, they, they call out Citra Incognito and double dry hopped it with Citra and Citra Cairo. Intense, really, intensely dank uh, and herbaceous. Uh, sweet, juicy, and vibrant, pillowy, soft mouthfeel. The Modern Times talks about Vic Secret, Citra and Mosaic Hops. Uh, tropical with notes of mango, pineapple, passion fruit, underscores of citrus and pine. And finally, the, the Bottle Logic post-cyberpocalyptic Neo New York. It talks about it being Odi, uh, hopped with Galaxy and Lotus Ops. Uh, it's got a soft lemon bitterness, finished with soft lemon bitterness. What do you, uh, what do you think of that? I think we're gonna gonna go how we. How I'm still, I'm still in the real card here. There you go. I think the bottle logic, though, naming wise, they, they have the best. Post yeah, I would cyber certainly. Apocalyptic new neo New York, New York, right? Yeah, right. I, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's a yeah, that's a full name. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go like this. Let's well, don't tell us. I won't. We don't want to hear your your 50 percent recommendation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me see your. Have you filled them out? Yet? Hey, I'm not. You're not looking at mine. My pen's uh, dead though. You sold me a dank. A that thing's been janky sitting pen. around a while. It's just probably slow. So there's not a lot of overlap on on hops. Citra is the only one that seems to be. I think I'm at least 50% on this. If I'm not, I'm just going to stop drinking altogether. Wrong. What do you think? You got them all written down? Not yet. I'm going back through them. When it says Nelson and Strata hops, that means that they've used some combination of those. That's right. Yep. Is it usually 50-50, or do you think it's like... No, I'd be whatever. Yeah. They are right. Up, yeah. You know, I honestly thought I could pick out the Modern Times one. Yeah. And it's just, it's hard. You think you can? No. I think I know what I'm... All right, I got... 
I'm going to show you that I got mine written down. Okay. I'm going to pull up the, the, the key, the, uh, the answers, the answer key. Should we go to the answer key already? Do you know where your, do you have yours chosen? I chose them, but that doesn't mean anything. How about you, uh, Steve? Do you have all your show? Yeah, I got my pick. Okay, we're good. I man. got my pick. Let's all right, so we can kind of... Uh, then we can talk over it. That's right. And how... Uh, so here, Charlie is coming up on uh, on redeeming himself. <sighs> good luck, boy. Let's see how we... Uh, Amateur hour here. Um, let's see how we land. Uh, let's see. And let's make sure that I got the... Uh, did, did I tell you I'm not really a hazy guy? <laughs> okay, so it says, yeah, exactly. Here comes Charlie with his excuses already. Um, <laughs> Working it out real quick. Uh, all right, so let's see where you guys are at. What did you guys get for number one? I gave it can number two. You gave it can number two? How about you, Charlie? I gave it number one. You gave it number one. I gave it uh, can number four. Uh, so the, or actually, I'm sorry, so. We're gonna. How are we gonna do this? Which which the top down? Okay. Yeah. So number one, preferably. Um, yeah. The the Russian River um, was can number four. Wow. So that that fourth one was dang the Russian it. River mine. Dang it. So I I chose number four. I think they're lying about one. what's in these things. That was the one that uh, that I, that I thought uh, the Odi mouthfeel mm-hmm. was the one that uh, that I I thought um Odi. Uh, what'd you guys get for Odi? What'd you guys get for the number two? The, okay. Well, it doesn't matter because I got North Park. one wrong. So. So that means you got at least two wrong. Else yeah, too yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. At least two wrong. Yeah, yeah you, I'm going down really quickly. What'd you guys get for number two? So I picked four. You picked four? Yeah. I picked four. You picked four. I picked two. That was the one that I smelt, and I was like, that's it. Because that was the one that said Citra Incognito, double dry hopped it with Citra and Citra uh, Cryro. When you smell that, it just like reeks like Citra hops. Yeah. So I was like, I don't even need to taste that one. Uh, number, the third one down, which was the Modern Times, We Love You, San Diego. The Vic Secret Citroen Mosaic. I said three. You said, I said three. three. You guys, and that's what it was. It was okay. three. I said one. Fifty percent. So you guys, uh, and then can number uh, the fourth one down. You guys put can number one. Yes, we did. No, I put can number two. Oh, so you got you got. I got so one times, right. So it goes it goes four two three one. Four two three one from the top. I screwed them all up. So the, the I only top got one, one right. The Russian River, and then so the Russian River one, I that got that stinks. one right. The the North Park Disciples of Foo. And what did I say though? I think I could pick out the Modern Times one, and that's the one you picked out. It's and crazy. then what'd you put for the bottom one? Two. You put two, Steve. One. And it was one. Yeah. And it was one. So Steve got uh Steve got two right. I got two right. Uh, Charlie got uh one. But one between right. us, we all if we had. Yeah, there Merge it is. If we put all our minds yeah, together. Yeah, maybe if yeah, we would have talked three a little ways to do that. Yeah. No, so the I'm not one for I, telling whose beer it is. I'm more more of like, do I like it or do I not like sure. it? Sure. Well, and that's a that's a great all way to All these were you know, good. You know, I think a lot of times like like with this, I would have said like uh um, you know, I think a lot of times when you look at a beer or when you when you taste a beer, maybe like with that, you know, you look at the name and you give yourself preconceived right expectations right. of what it's going to be so that's what's kind of cool here because maybe the the beer that i thought i wasn't going to like on this list is probably the beer that i liked the most um so or maybe I, which one do you like the most um man i think that uh, number one um gosh i think um yeah, i think no. I, I i thought uh, i like that number one and i i really like number one uh, smells the best i'll give it that it's super tasty smelling. yeah no that uh um I don't that know, bottle logic po- post cyber po- uh, yep yeah that one that one the bottle logic. that was great that was a great beer post cyber apocalyptic neo go. new york and a craziness 8.2 percent all these are ooh. the only one that isn't above eight is uh the russian river seven seven percent on that rest of them are eight or above wow. yeah no that was awesome that was a uh, look at that North Park is kicking butt again. I like that man. Yeah, those guys make some uh, some phenomenal. So, which beer. one's the most crushable? Man, I would go because um, they're all dangerous if you drink. Yeah, them. for sure. <laughs> Too many of them. Um, I think. Uh, I think Modern Times oh, yeah. one is personally. Yeah, it's a it's, good beer. That is that is right down the center. That was the one if I was. You wanted certain. to introduce somebody to Hazy's? Maybe that's the one. Well, the, you know, they make so many of them. They've got a ton a in cans beers. forever. Those guys just do it, you know. They have they have got a list a mile long of beers that they made that are outstanding. So, I'm just I'm excited about North Park. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, Russian River, gosh. I mean, they're around. Hey, uh, you know, I, I actually, so speaking of Russian River, the other day they announced this year, uh, you know, normally they, they're Pliny the Younger. Uh, people line up down the down the road, right, uh, for for that release. Going to send everybody um, in America one. That well, that's a that's a better idea. But they're but they're, they're actually going to put on their <laughs> website great. in early February. They're they're canceling their release at the brewery, but they're going to bottle and and ship out um, cases of their beer. So they're going to do like a mixed uh, a mixed case where you'll get you know four Pliny the Youngers, four elders, I'd do that. four blind pigs or whatever. Yeah, so uh, watch for that early early February. Um, be phenomenal. <laughs> you, you know what they're? What is the one that's the uh, the logger they make? STS pills is that the? I don't. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. But I mean, Pliny, you know how I feel about that. Now the younger, which is delicious. But you know what I I I talked about uh, that whole. Uh, Pliny the Younger and what tastes like it, and because I tasted a lot, I tasted it on draft at Tornados, and you got two ten ounce tasters, and I only drank one because it was like ten percent. I had to, I was driving, right. I just went in there to taste it and then go. So I was driving, didn't want to drink too much and go. But um, you know what it reminds me of is that Where's Waldo from Lagunitas? It's a good beer. Yeah. They're they're both very similar in my opinion. Same alcohol content, very high, you know, like in the ten percent range or eleven percent or whatever it is. But anyhow, just a little drift there on that uh, beer. But gosh, we got a lot of beer left here. We should drink it. What do you think? Yeah. No. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Those. Um... I feel bad that I only got one right. Oh, that's all right. Hey, you know what? You're. I've been since as, last You got a lot time. more, <laughs> exponentially more right than this week than 25%. you got last week. Twenty-five percent. I mean, you're keep doing that. Gosh, growth. I could be it's up amazing. to hundred percent by yeah. twenty ninety. <laughs> right, if we do two of these a year, only That'd be good. You're in eighteen months I, or know, something. Are right? they going to do stouts next? Uh, you know, we're going to do stouts oh, one we of these are. days. Well, yeah, we got some. Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of some of these. The stouts. all gotta, stout show. Speaking of that. So we, um, <laughs> not the all stout show, but it's been a big stout week. This, uh, um, you know, beer memberships are, are coming up. Horace had a big release. Harlan. Um, yep. A couple, a couple of stouts from Harlan. The, uh, Mostra has their, their membership that releases this weekend. Yeah. The coffee. The coffee. Yeah. Only one thing I like probably more than beer is coffee. Well, because they make the best coffee. You drink it like 18 hours a day. Oh gosh. That's some beer. That's um, some coffee and But beer. I actually, I, I brought an after party beer or after. After potty? After potty beer. Should we crack if wanna, it? If you want to crack that one while we kind of finish some of these IPAs. Hand it over. Um, so so I brought this. Uh, so a so little, uh, little, little bit of stout news. I've been waiting for this beer for, for a couple of years. This was, uh, um, so I brought this another dose from, from Horace, uh, which, which I just picked up this last weekend. I have to taste it because it's the next version. Of proper dose, proper dose was your favorite beer. We actually put the, uh, I think Monster Tones and and oh Modem gosh. Tones Vanilla. This was batch one, and then is the original this proper double dose. Double the amount of adjuncts? this is the same. So so he released like three different beers. Oh my gosh, um, this is terribly good. So the this was the another dose, which was just the straight proper dose part two. I wish people could smell this because that is just magnificent. I mean. It's he, it's better than the first one. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I can I tell think you just still have one bottle left of the the first one. We can do those side by side. But so this was um, this is the another dose. He released cocoa dose, and then he released um, double dose, which is coming out here in a few days. Uh, that double dose will be uh, that's um, double, right? Double this the is, dose of this is proper the, dose. Um, no, so this is the same as proper. Wow. This is this is the same as proper dose. Uh, the double dose is going to be double Ooh, adjuncts. Let me tell you, man. So this is, I mean, I just, I just had a little bit on my, on my finger, and, and uh, that was magnificent. <laughs> and I, I, I took a little taste of it. So it, it, it pours with just this super velvety head, like nice it's creamy. creamy. It's viscous. You swish it around in your glass, and it just sticks, and just slowly etches down. I smell vanilla. Hazelnuts are just on the nose. Hazelnuts all day long on this. Crazy amounts crazy. of vanilla. Crazy. 
coffee. I just want to, I just, you know what? I'll pay to go watch him make this. Yeah, no, it's a pretty impressive beer. So right now, I was actually, I, it was between bringing, bringing this beer, the Another Dose, or bringing um, Kentucky Dose, which is proper dose that's been barrel aged. I don't know, man. This is, you know what this tastes like? You really want to know what it reminds me of? Caramel corn with chocolate. I'm telling you. That's pretty amazing beer. That's a non-barrel aged. um, I think that's me though. All these barrel, like all the adjuncts just shine through. Really, I mean, really heavy on the hazelnut. It takes away all that sharpness. It's just so smooth. Super, super drinkable beer. God. So the so today, um, you know, I, I brought this beer because I, I I've been waiting for it for a minute. I know you've been waiting for it for two years. The um, this is this is I if we do it side by side, I don't know what I can do. I don't right? know what I can. I don't know if I can. Uh... I guess we'll see. But yeah, so the um, so they they just released these this week. Um, think did next go get the this? sixth i did I, I went up on on saturday to pick it up on the sixth uh i'll pick up the double dose uh, on on black friday i actually gotta pick up uh, i have a couple of bottles that i'll that i'll pick up on black friday uh, for him so he's one of my favorite brewers he, he definitely does this beer very very well well this right here is what do you think steve we didn't get any word from you he's over there taking pictures just as techy as he can be i'm just ready Oh, come on. Jump in. It's not a party without you. He's got to get his headphones on. Look at him fidgeting. You need to get some better cans. Better cans. That's why we drink out of bottles for good beers. I mean, better beers, I guess. (laughs) They're all good, but... Well, Chris, when you said you you opened it, you tasted it a little bit, just the smell is just... Yeah. It's amazing, huh? I mean, it's... Like, if you could just sit and smell that... Just, I mean, it's. Uh, are those? Does he roast those nuts? Or? Oh my gosh, that's a that's a pretty amazing yeah. beer, huh? Yeah, no, they're um, that proper dose was my was my favorite beer. I I'm think that he released. Thinking that's this is going to get better as it warms up because it is right at about fifty, maybe fifty eight degrees right now, and it's going to drop and then it's going to really open up. Yeah, no, um, that man's talented. So the uh, you know, I brought this beer there. So we picked this up. The first, the, another thing we've been talking about, you know, hazy IPAs, uh, Ferris Falcon, the, the, um, the, uh, I guess the, the brand that they're opening, uh, Mason and, and Horace are collabing with that new brand. They had their first release, uh, yesterday, um, or a couple of days ago, maybe it was, uh, and that will be, um, that, that gets picked up, uh, on Friday as well, on Black Friday. It's a busy day. Yeah, no, it'll be a nice, uh, nice little Horace pickup day. I'm sure. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to help you out with that, I think. There you go. You're more than welcome. I'll be your, Would love uh, to have you. Your uh, navigator. Would love to have you. I'll navigate through the byways and highways to get to Horace up in Oceanside. And then where's where's uh, Mason again? That's actually where the release is at. Oh, okay. Um, it's, it's Same a, spot. Yep. Same, it's going to be at uh, Mason Ale Works, which is right next to San Marcos uh, um, Little College. I know where it's at. Do you know where it is? Yep. I know exactly where it's at. Um, yeah, so that's going to be that. So, uh, which means Wild Barrel, be... Lost Abbey are right there too. <laughs> yep. yep. Stones are right up there too. And yep. Bergen, and they just opened up a place in Escondido. Too. They did, yeah. Bergen, so they're, um, Bergen, Bergen opened. Yeah. Great. Maybe that's what you should do. Yeah, no, I I would be excited. Um, yeah, no, that would be phenomenal. I would be uh, sounds like a trip. So yeah, we're uh, we'll run up there, grab grab those bottles, um, grab that Ferris Falcon. We'll we'll uh, definitely check that out. Um, man, so we had uh, a couple of hazy uh, hazy IPAs, four that, uh, IPAs that were four that were phenomenal. Followed by this another dose, the after potty stout. Man, those stouts, I just um. It's mind blowing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're isn't it? mind, yeah it's a different totally level. My whole, yeah, it's the adjunct thing is just, <laughs> it's bananas. It's Coming from yeah. the guy who says, "Oh, I don't drink stouts or sours." Right? I mean, when like <laughs> like you drink like 
that's the beer when you know and and I'll reference like my buddy Ryan and then um and and Brian. Mm-hmm. So Brian who's like a a chef and this guy's like um phenomenal Very with good. meat and cooking and, and making breads he and he sent a stuff. picture of his bread that embarrassed me. And he's, it was so delicious looking. Yeah, so this guy like I mean he's he's like an artisan when it when it comes to like anything he just uh so so I knew that this guy would originally would just love craft beer, right? And and so me and me and my friend Steve went to his house and we were hanging out for a couple of days and, and he's like, uh, I, I broke out a Horace stout <laughs> and, and he's like, no, I don't drink stouts. I don't do that, man. I don't now nah, I'm more of like a light. Till he tasted it. And then he tasted it and he was like, wow. And he, he brings this up when he talks to people about craft beer, how that day like changed his outlook on, on beer, how it was probably <laughs> like that, that free beer was the most expensive beer he ever had. Right. Cause he's like, <laughs> yeah, cost so, him a fortune. <laughs> yeah. So then, uh, we kind of did the, the the same thing to Ryan. Showed him a couple of beers, um, like a a, a but Jew. What a great couple of guys, though. No, they're just, phenomenal. Just but the super people. I think when you like so so those guys were both like I don't drink I don't I'm not a big fan of I, I don't drink stouts was Brian's thing. You have that and you're like it's amazing. Yeah, I, I think there's a beer. Well, yeah, for but like, then he sent us pictures of him drinking the purple Horus, what, whatever that was, or it was oh gosh, it looks so amazing. I think you know. I mean, I think they like. Beer styles aside, like people will like it, like if it's a phenomenally made beer, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna this, leave it. This on is that note. like almost to that level. With gosh, I mean, this thing is just ridiculous. We we don't we we probably drink some pretty good beers. You yeah, know? we and a one or two. It's unfortunate that some people don't get the opportunity or don't step into that. Like you know, you said you you know I don't drink sours or stouts. Well, I think we've we've opened your yeah, right well taste buds it, it really little. depends on the stout right the, yeah if you oh, look absolutely. at the stout market in the united states it's pretty thin if you were just going to go into a store and buy a stout well yeah sure, you're not getting absolutely this. you're, you're not going to find this in a store you're going to come out with a guinness yeah you know or whatever or something but yeah maybe, I like maybe in modern times right maybe i, I, I like I, guinness I, you know i haven't looked at final you know if you walk into a smart and final what you know what options do you actually really have <laughs> yes few right far between but the, then it, I mean, you can find great stouts. I mean, if you really look, I mean, there are different places you can go, like that place around the corner from me. I'm sure it has some pretty good stouts in there. I mean, but, you know, Modern Times makes great stouts, and they're available if you want them. I mean, they're they're readily available. You can buy them down there. Bevmo has them. I mean, I bought their generic whatever they're – I can't remember off the top of my head what the name of it was. The Uh, Modern Times? The Modern Times. Uh, Black House? Probably that was it. It, well, like it was it Nitro Black House by chance? No, it wasn't Nitro. Okay. That that's a phenomenal beer. It's a it's a very very good beer. Um, but yeah, it's not like not that guy right there. You no. know, I mean that's uh that's pretty amazing, man. They, We're um, fortunate. We are definitely super. Fortunate. Yeah, I um, I'm a huge fan. I'm I'm thankful to be a part of that membership. I wasn't expecting a uh, Horace tonight. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good. I I, I knew we were kind of waiting on it, so I. Uh, um, just this, there. this was, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we're going to drink four IPAs and then throw down that Horace, huh? Ah, we didn't drink all the IPAs. So we got a little taster. Fun. So on that note, Charlie, we've got a big beer week ahead of us. Cheers, my cheers. friend. Steve. Hey, cheers. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. I hope you enjoyed today's show. This taste test, like the first one, was very fun to try. Hard to do when many of the beers have some of the same taste profiles. So to summarize, today's show had four hazy IPAs and one amazing imperial stout with adjuncts. The hazy IPAs were Mind Circus from Russian River, Disciples of Foo from North Park, We Love You, San Diego from Modern Times, and the crazy named Post Cyber apocalyptic neo new york from bottle logic the after party beer was horace's another dose which was an imperial stout with chocolate coffee hazelnut and vanilla bean to subscribe to the podcraft show get links to the beers and breweries mentioned see pictures of the beers we examined today and to connect with the podcast via email or social media then head over to the podcraft.com for all that info please also consider recommending the show to craft beer friends and family members in your life the more the merrier. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for the Podcraft Show. Have a great day.
The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.